Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the previous video, I have discussed uh, the paraneoplastic syndromes involving the skin, and uh, exclusively we discussed uh, the acanthosis nigricans. And uh, in this video, sweet syndrome is described. These are the references for this video. Sweet syndrome is also named as acute febrile neutrophilic dermatosis. It was first described by Robert Douglas Sweet in 1964, and it is an uncommon acute and recurrent cytokine induced skin reaction that is associated with many etiologies. The people between the age of 30 to 60 years are affected most by this disease and it is a disease that is uh, most common in women as compared to men. Uh, there is, uh, this is four times as much common in women than in men. There is no racial uh, predilection observed for this disease and uh, the etiology is unknown, but it is considered that uh, various uh, genetic or immunological uh, hypothesis exist for the etiology of this disease. The associated disorders are febrile upper respiratory tract infection and especially this condition is associated with the uh, Yersinia infections. Uh, it is also associated with hematological malignancies, especially the myeloid leukemia or trans transient myeloid proliferation also associated with the Sweet syndrome. Uh, it is seen in ulcerative colitis and many other malignant, type, malignant uh, tumors. Uh, use of drug, especially the granulocyte colony stimulating factors uh, use is associated with Sweet syndrome. Now the clinical manifestations of the Sweet syndrome, the prodromes are febrile upper respiratory tract infections. Uh, the patient may present with the uh, GI symptoms such as diarrhea. There is usually an influenza-like uh, illness one to three weeks before the skin lesion and lesion that appear is tender and painful. Fever is uh, not always present but uh, there may be headache, arthralgia and journal malaise. The etiology for the Sweet syndrome is not known, is still not known but uh, there are various theories for its uh, development and progression. Uh, one is the genetic factor, HLA B54 is seen, association is seen in Japanese population, while MEFV gene mutation is seen in familial Mediterranean uh, fever. The chromosome 3Q abnormality or the long arm of, Q, Q, uh, long arm of chromosome number 3 abnormalities are also associated with sweet syndrome. The <clears throat> it is also considered that uh, the sweet syndrome is actually a hypersensitivity reaction. The causative agent is uh, a bacterial, viral or tumor antigen that uh, causes the activation of the neutrophil and it leads to infiltration of the neutrophil subsequently. Some studies suggest that it is due to activation or, or excessive, uh, pres excessive presence of uh, cytokines such as uh, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, interleukin-1 and gamma interferon. The lesion of the Sweet syndrome are tender papules that are 2 to 4 millimeter in diameter and when they coalesce, they form irregular sharply bordered inflammatory plaques. They are bright red in color and the surface is smooth. Uh, the pseudo vesiculation is a term that is given to these lesion. It is due to intense edema and due to presence of intense edema, the uh, appearance is like a vesiculation. So the term pseudo vesiculation is given. Its course is rapid and uh, there is a development of central clearing that give these lesions annular or arcuate pattern. There is tiny superficial pustule formation in various cases and 
these uh, papule may be uh, and these lesions may be single or multiple and uh, they may be distributed symmetrically or asymmetrically within the body and uh, the face and upper extremities are affected most however it may affect uh, lower extremities also the truncal lesions are uncommon but uh, these truncal lesions are seen in widespread disease the mucous membranes are also affected and uh, there is frequent uh, uh, presence of conjunctivitis or episcleritis so this is the skin lesion of uh, sweet syndrome there is an erythematous edematous plaque on the right cheek of this 26 year old female and uh, this plaque is formed due to coalescence of various papule and uh, the border at the border of this uh, plaque there are it seems that there are many vesicles are present but on palpation it was revealed that this is solid uh, this term is uh, pseudo vesiculation this patient also had a uh, uh, fever and uh, leukocytosis and earlier had uh, upper respiratory tract infection this is uh, another uh, extensively involving lesions of uh, sweet syndrome and in this 23 year old female there are multiple uh, some discrete and some coalescent inflammatory and very exudative plaques that are present and uh, these are appearing like a uh, wheel and uh, around the neck they are more like a wheel but they are coalescing and uh, this patient also had leukocytosis and fever this is a close-up view of uh, a lesion of sweet syndrome there are many papules that look like vesicle especially on the border of the lesion and uh, they are uh, these papule are coalescing they are merging together but uh, these are solid This is another clinical presentation of sweet syndrome. The lesions are like uh, bully and uh, some pustule. This patient has myelomonocytic leukemia. The histopathological features of sweet syndrome are diagnostic. The epidermis is usually normal, but uh, sometimes subcorneal pustulation is also seen. The, there is a massive edema of papillary body and dense uh, leukocytic infiltration that uh, shows a star burst pattern in the mid dermis is present and uh, this infiltrate is composed of neutrophil and occasionally eosinophils and lymphoid cells so this photomicrograph is a close-up view of this uh, infiltrate and uh, on high power view it is evident that uh, there is uh, leukocytoclasia with presence of nuclear dust but there is no vasculitis and uh, there is presence of uh, equivocal presence of neutrophilic infiltrate in the subcutaneous tissue also a uh, histocytoid sweet syndrome is also described and uh, this variant include histocytoid cell which are immature myeloid cells that are commonly mistaken as histiocytes. The general appearance of the patient in sweet syndrome is ill-looking and uh, there, uh, the disease is diagnosed with the careful clinical examination uh, for looking for involvement of CNS, CVS, GIT, musculoskeletal system, lung, renal system and reticoendothelial system the laboratory examinations are important 
and uh, CBC shows leukocytosis with neutrophilia with an increased ESR and uh, it is diagnosed on the biopsy and should be differentially diagnosed from erythema multiforme, erythema nodism, perivesicular herpes simplex infection and preulcerative pemphigoid gestationalis. The lesion of sweet syndrome uh, if left untreated enlarges over a period of days or weeks and it resolves without scarring in and the recurrence of this disease, this uh, lesion is common and uh, the recurrence occur usually on the previously involved sites. In the management of the sweet syndrome, first rule out sepsis, then prednisone is given 3 to 50 mg per day and the uh, dose is tapered in 2 to 3 weeks. Uh, although the lesion resolves within a few days, Depson 100 mg per day can also be used and potassium iodide and colchicine are also effective in some cases. Antibiotic therapy is uh, effective in the cases that are associated with the Yersinia but uh, antibiotic is ineffective in other cases.